So hello everyone, my name is Henry. I'll be your page for the second one rapper that you can have the many ancient iron doors. Daily follow the page you may know online the sensory bottles. And depicted here are scenes uncovered by a psychologist representing real life fossil evidence. It is important to note that not every dinosaur is at the same time. Coming up is a chance at our very first dinosaur. Here we have the big flamingo and up ahead are the first races. Although we do agree that 66 million years ago most dinosaurs did go extinct, so that it's not about the birds. We call birds and dinosaurs, and dinosaurs that went extinct are not green or not. I do see some bald eagles and their snowy owls up ahead. Do you see any of them exhibiting any Can we think of any modern day animals who do this? Well, it reminds me of the African wild dog and how you can see them on the African plains coming down large prey like a little Fun fact, these fossils were, were discovered in the United States. Watch your head, guys! Pretty interesting, right? Ancient dinosaurs working together? What Somebody else is coming! Oh my god! Coming up, it's a lucky day for Oh, this thing is moving! As we can see here, a group of Majundasaurus have found a large Repetosaurus to scavenge on. While there is evidence that many others did scavenge group, much like modern day Komodo dragons, Majundasaurus may have taken bites out of each other while sharing a carcass. But good news for the Irovo lovers in this group, as a much larger Repetosaurus has escaped the family of carnivores. This plant eating them wow. is only 50 feet long. Some of the largest non aging dinosaurs on a dark pot live on a diet of plants. On the did not hold their necks upright, they are warm necks sitting, but they allow them to reach up into the high trees above. Much like a modern day giraffe. Can they go any faster? I can see a herd of adult Pentaceratops, and even a baby. Pentaceratops minus the dinner is actually a close relative to Triceratops but has five horns instead of three. With so many large mouths to feed, I am beginning to think this bird may have some migrate for fresh food. We see the same behavior in American bison today. Wow! If I think three of the same different species, the same species, no, I think three to six species in fact. To my left is the smallest from the big 30 feet long of the Dinosaurus. Next inside to my right is a much larger Dinosaurus. Lena, you're saying hello to every and dinosaur? This is the longest big 60 back? feet long the old Dinosaurus. This reminds me of the African plains and how we can see zebus, gazelles, and giraffes coexisting as they eat different plants at different heights. This guy, wow. It seems that we are two parasaurologists calling out to each other. We do think the first of these guys will use amplified their calls to both elephants and whales in a deep long note. However, from putting mock animals, we do know they may have to each other, ward off danger, or attracted a mate. And speaking of attraction, check out the crash he a crush on, the, on these cosmoceratops. The crush on cosmoceratops was used as a display rather than defense, as it probably wasn't sturdy enough. 
Men concerning fossil evidence, we do know that both males and females have elaborate crests, meaning that they are displayed to each other. The same is true for many species of birds like the hornbill of today. But who is trying to attract whom? Perhaps, perhaps it, it belongs to the Maya flora. I can also see two to throw it on living with her eggs. Fossil evidence suggests that Maya flora lived in the and made nest packs together with nested cars. How many birds of today who make nests of the sea Maya flora don't get nests on the ground? Incubator of an egg is using rotting flat material. Once they're attached, the Mayasaur and then, then fed their baby flat material until they're strong enough to walk. Mm. Gigantic T-Rex! And he's very hungry for small boys like Julian, yeah! Coming up, it's a battle of the Titans. Two male Tyrannosaurus Rex lost in combat fighting for dominance like no gorillas do today. Fighting for dominance? Gorillas don't always get along, we don't always get along, and ancient dinosaurs for a fact did not get along. Mmm. We have all the people who with each other and they even lived in groups. Males and females even fought during courtship. Now that would be quite the love fight. Up ahead are two gallant mimes, dinosaurs resembling today's autism. They give one looking bright at us. And right behind those guys are two pterosaurs, first near the water, hunting for fish. These you know pterosaurs are not actual dinosaurs, but are in fact prehistoric flying reptiles. Even the name translates to with a lizard. Who is going to win this battle? My money 